Previously on Raveheart, the party used a wormhole to infiltrate Neredia's star shield system, and you probably shouldn't think too hard about the physics behind it. Count Asuban intercepted them on their way out, and while they managed to beat him, war with Neredia was now inevitable. They also helped Gregory with a Gamma Force Field, allowing the Atlas to land on Planet X. Planet X. Recommended level 70. Okay, I can at least see around me. I was afraid there'd be absolutely no visibility whatsoever. Medical treatment? Put out the dark matter? Yes. Breaker Alpha. What? Are those Somakians? They don't seem to do anything, though. I, I'm i pretty sure the next... Uh, the, uh, the new... Uh, content update was supposed to give a side quest uh, involving one of the Somakians, but I'm not sure how I'm supposed to find it. Three, 3,500 ions. Yeah, just kind of pop up uh, every now and then, but don't really do anything to the, for the plot at all. Without the dark matter, that's all free. Something opened. E for cube. I swear, this is where it all began. Wait, how'd you get here? Oh right, the Catalyst. I assumed they wouldn't even set foot in here. That's strange. Why are you here? I should be asking you that question. Listen, I don't want to mess up the flow of time here again like what happened to Cardell. Whom you know what happened to Cardell? It's complicated. I should be going. We heard something about a witch in some of the lore. What just happened? Hmm. I may want to check the lore again when I get back to the ship. That's a big dude. You seek power here. How worthy do you think you are? This planet will only swallow you whole. Your essence dissolving into eternity, becoming part of the unending nothingness as our master. You come here ignorant of what's in store for your descendants. So let me rip your, apart your flesh, uh, fleshly frail avatars. Damn, this thing is really fast. Faster than Sola for some reason. Hmm. Fossil gravity to start with, or should I just go for the j boss? I don't know. I really wish using s uh, uh, AoE spells actually grant you SP if you... Okay. Just use a magic attacker right off the bat, but it wasn't too bad. And it means somehow reflected it. Agile Fighter. Hmm. Hit Weapon Plus. Fuse. Heroism. Charisma. Okay. Gift plus. Inspire. Wisdom. Ultra Hide. Hmm. Chase Thunder God Fury. I have a feeling that I might lose my instant usage if I use Ultra Hide, so maybe we'll go with Thunder God Fury and see if it takes out the minions, or at least damage them enough. Yes! Okay, now I only have this big dude who's probably gonna one-shot me a whole ton. Seal of Rhiannon. And... I... Hmm... I don't think I can actually stun you. 
Arcane Finale and hope that actually hits. Seriously, that's an underwhelming damage formula. Holy crap. The boss has no attribute for some reason. It's some kind of underworldly mutant thing. I have speed, so let's go with strength. Sadly, that does not leave me enough SP to use my next infusion. That get that got me quite a bit of SP back, though. So this boss is going to be really tough. Hmm. Plasma Barrier. I have no idea if you are going to spam ailments on me. Okay, that went well so far. Now let's use Infusion Plus. Please not you do skip turns. Okay, good. Determination. What? What was that? Did it just cheat because I used too many buffs? Oh, nuts. Okay. It's just big, big charisma. Rapid Barrage. Fusion Plus again. Charge Swing Instant. Can I just spam this? Will they penalize me for trying to do that? They aren't gonna let me do. They're, they aren't gonna let me. Oh my god, it actually double killed us. Anyways, good thing I have these life kits. Man, that, that screwed up two of my biggest damage dealers. Oh well. Still got it. Sapphire earrings, yes, that makes me immune to uh, another person immune to ailments. I should probably not touch that until I'm uh, fully prepared, though. Book of the Ancients. Celestial Gunblade. Crimson Destroyer. Yikes. The fact you're giving me this right before this b uh, next guy. Hmm. Heavenly Slasher. Enigmatic Crystal. Sword of Crimson Fire. I'm seeing visions! I see Sir Brian, his parents, his grandparents. No, I'm seeing rapid visions of a stellar bloodline flashing before me. But why? Why is it coming from Sir Brian's heritage? Touch it! Recommend level 90. Damn. Brian's sword begins to react? What? You're truly persistent in finding your answers. It's impressive you have discovered this. Tear. A terror. However, it cannot stop the inevitable. Your curiosity shall reap dire consequences. It has. To, it's related to Sir Brian. Seriously? Allow me to demonstrate them to you clearly. Ow! Jerk. Ugh. Wait a minute. Did I put... No, I put immunity on Zazir. That's why Zazir didn't get affected. That's a lot of dudes. Horrible. Ugh. 
There's too many of them. There's just... I... Man. Plasma barrier? Hell no. Oh my god, that was horrifying. And my plasma barrier got eaten up by that. There's just no way I can win against such numbers. That first attack that Klein did, did, did barely anything to them. Oh my goodness. The enemies are only weak to tech and ether. No good. Termination. Charisma. That didn't even heal us all the way. Dude. Inspire. Wisdom. Ultra Hide. Echo. This will, unfortunately, I think it will also reflect certain buff uh, attacks, which really sucks. With certain buffing skills. And it says using Mass Hysteria might help on a, a bit if I get lucky enough to proc it. That way, they will spend some time punching each other instead of punching me. Okay, didn't get reflected, that one. Okay. What if I want to use a self-buff like Tech Gears? To, in order to eliminate some of the weaker dudes first. Okay, didn't get reflected. Good. Good. Roaming bullets. Wait, will this remove... I actually wonder, will this actually remove some of the enemy's stuff? How does confusion work? Does it disappear the moment they get hit? Superior mind control is going to be very annoying. I can't tell who's been affected yet. Okay, I don't think anyone's been hit by it yet because of Sola. But I'm still in a tight spot. Man. Very nerve wracking. Another dose of charisma. Damn it, this is zero. You're too slow. I don't like that. Uh, damn it. Unfortunately, because of that mind control gimmick, I might have no choice but to actually cast Plasma Barrier almost every turn. Which really sucks, because Sola could actually deal some decent tech damage right now. Okay, now that I have E for Gears, I should attack one of the priests, huh? Yeah. 
Damn, it didn't kill you? Ultra Hide. Thunder God Fury. We'll make Bullet Plus. Ooh! Damn, it's just taking off a lot of my... Oh no, Solo Lost uh, uh, does not have a speed advantage! That's hysteria, please proc 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 proc! Okay, good. That'll buy me some time. <laughs> Zephyr Heart. No, that took out the confusion, unfortunately. I should not have done that shit. I'm gonna suffer dearly for that, aren't I? Not good. Yeah, I don't see how this is. This is. This seems like it should be rated level 200, not 100. This thing is too fast. I want to cast Echo. Hmm. Damn, there goes all his EP, huh? We need better EP heal items. Damn, so we managed to at least take out- uh, maybe, or at least we reflected that one, but still, that was not good. Termination. And big charisma. Evaded? Damn. How'd you even do that? I need to start using my expensive stuff. Yes, the 600 heal. Rapid Barrage, please, hit. Still not enough. Can I jade you, please? Yes! That'll give me some briefing room. Where's the refractor? I need to use that. Haha! I predicted your. Uh, uh, I predicted your actions! Ha ha ha! Crest of the Unknown? How amusing! The emptiness yearns for that fire. We shall meet again. This is also strange. I know. Why does- why is this related to Sir Brian anyways? Was he connected to the Lord of the Unknown all along? Was he a villain all along? Oh shoot.
Could Brian... Can we really trust Brian at this point? Press with the unknown. Yes, return to Atlas. Wait, didn't give me a chance to travel anywhere else. That means there must be something mandatory at the Atlas then? I don't know. Whoa, no, there is a quest. You must be the one uh, uh, who, who who knows about the Somakians. Your Highness, I bring urgent news. We have intercepted a distress signal originating from an unknown race of beings, the Somakians. Coming from planet Zephoria of Sector, uh, Sector 3, their message is, is fraught with desperation and a plea for help. Somakians, I've never interacted with them before. What do you know about these beings, Doctor? Precisely, Your Highness, the Somakians are an enigmatic species. Their presence in the galaxy is shrouded in mystery. We have little information about their intentions or history. However, the stress signal emanates from a remote location, and it's clear they are in dire need of assistance. That's very unfortunate, but we must consider the risks and potential consequences. I understand your concern, Your Highness. This could be an opportunity for further technological discoveries, and maybe even forge an alliance with these beings. You're right, Doctor. We cannot turn blind eye to those in need, especially if we possess the means to help them. We will prepare ourselves and gather any available information about the Somakians. We shall investigate their stress signal and assess the situation firsthand. Thank you, Your Highness. I shall assemble the shell to this planet's destination. Our mission is to uncover the truth behind the Somakians' distress and extending, extend a helping hand, should they require it. Time is of the essence. Oh, I mean, we must remain cautious. We better evaluate the risks and potential benefits of extending our aid. We should also be prepared for any challenges that may arise during our encounter with them. The fact that they showed up after Planet X implies that th their sh wh wh whatever problem they have is going to be stronger than the lore of the unknown. I agree, Klein. Doctor, please expedite the gathering of information. Our primary objective is to assist those in need while safeguarding the well-being of our own people. We'll gather what we can, Your Highness. I'll be here if you wish to avail the shell we have prepared for your departure to plant Zaphoria of Sector 3. Echoes of the Unknown, a diplomatic encounter accepted. Yeah, you can't get there normally. You have to actually talk to the NPC to get there. Hmm. Does that mean it's impossible to add new locations to the travel menu normally? And you have to use these NPCs as a, as a kind of workaround? Okay, this part will not be in the guide, unfortunately. Are you ready to part? Level 95? What? This is a really tough place, isn't it? Okay, deploy shell for a princess and her team. Very well, commencing in 3, 2, 1. Arrive our destination. Our shell is being de deployed for landing. Okay. Planet Zephoria. City of Valeris Prime. Can I buy things in the city? Well, look at this place. The city frozen in time, abandoned and left to decay. Indeed, client, this is as if the life that once thrived here just vanished. We're here for a reason. Let's tread carefully and see what we can find. I have to admit, this place gives me the chills. Oh, come on, Chad. Where's your sense of heroism? Right? Who knows what wonders or dangers await us? This place. Echoes of whispers of the past. Our presence disturbs the silence. Be worry, my friends. We try on unknown ground. You're right, Cezir. It's gonna be even tougher than Planet X. Somehow. We're here to answer the distress signal. Let's search every corner and find out what happens here. I can return to the Atlas anytime I want. Good, because I might be buying off more than I can chew. How big is this place? Ambrosia? They're giving me a really good item right off the bat? Okay. This barrier seems to be powered by an ancient technology. It's very sophisticated and I can't fully understand. Any idea how to disable it? Well, it seems to be activated by a combination of energy sources and some weird pattern thingies. We'll need to decipher its mechanisms to disable it. We should explore the area and see if there are any clues or devices that could provide insight. Do I have to do another poem thing? Potion of Peace? Oh my, this place looks like a temple of some kind. Valerian Shield. My history book opened at a certain page. In the annals of time, the city is a testament to the harmonious fusion of spirituality and advanced technologies. Its inhabitants, guided by their deep spiritual beliefs, forged a society and embraced both the tangible and ethereal realms. Through intricate rituals and sacred ceremonies, they sought enlightenment and transcendence, drawing upon the cosmic energies that permeated their world. They set their mastery over these forces, granted them remarkable advancements in technology, blurring the line between science and mysticism. I don't s are there any key words I need to make note of? Oh, look at that. The thing has a mechanism. It lacks a few screws and wirings. If we can find what's missing, we can get this thing to work and see what it does. Old mechanism tools. Found a history book open on a certain page. The six crystal conductors reach towards the heavens, while luminous pathways woven with intricate light connected its various districts. 
Within these walls, scholars and visionaries delved in esoteric knowledge, unraveling the mysteries of the universe. Your discoveries birth marvels beyond comprehension, devices that harness the very essence of existence itself. Strange wirings. Found open journal. Some of the entries are torn, but there's one that's still intact. Entry 4. I can hear the creature outside the door. We barricade ourselves in this room. I don't think it'll hold for long. I want to say goodbye to my family, but I don't have the strength to write anymore. Please. If anyone finds this, leave this place and don't come back. Um, yeah, that doesn't sound good. Alright, looks like we already have what we need to make this thing work. Do your thing, Sola. I'm on it, Pinky. It worked. A holographic interface. That's the last thing I expected to see in the place of worship. Hmm, I'm sure there's something here that can deactivate the barrier blocking away, Meow. That should do it. Let's go check out the barrier. What will we do about cat technology? Tee hee. And this is where everything gets fucked up. It's so dark. Another limited visibility area. This place, the energy is so dense. Wait, look, there's a Somakian. Damn it, it's dead. We may find surviving Somakians in this location. Indeed, we shouldn't receive a distress signal if the Somakians are all dead. We have to find them in Lunar 8. That's hoping they see us as allies, that is. Mm-hmm, about time we're getting a warm welcome. They're so fast! Holy moly! And they're so tanky. Can I even win this? Am I screwed? Why? They're... That's way too much damage. Holy shit! What are we supposed to do against these guys? Their, their stats are insane! And the game has not given us an actual armor upgrade for like, ever. I actually don't know what I'm supposed to do other than spam confusion with her. But she's not fast enough to actually do it. Yes, Veronica's confusion skill might be the only real out to this situation. By confusing them, that buys us enough time to hopefully get our act together. There we go. Only 9,000? Seriously? Even though it dealt so much damage? We've got hostiles here. Take caution. Yep, pee meow. I wouldn't be too excited about that. Oh, nuts. These guys are so strong. And Elamine's AoE heal doesn't even heal everyone all the way anymore. Even with decent gear. Are these touch encounters or random encounters? Valerian Plate. Please tell me this is actually good armor. Resist stun, but let's face it, we kind of need it. We need this shit right now. Hmm, this Tomakian is holding a recorder. Hold on, we can play this and see if we can uncover something. Here goes. Sagirius uh, 25212 AXW. This is Kara speaking. One of the surviving members of our team. We arrived on this planet to investigate the energetic anomalies picked up on by our transmitters. What could have happened here? This sounds ominous. The scene was abandoned when we landed here. Devoid of the civilized life, but there were creatures. These enigmatic creatures. They seem to be charged by a powerful kind of ether. The, the fear in his voice. Whatever the encounter must have been truly terrifying. We need to listen carefully. Carlos might provide us with crucial information about what we're up against. We try to fight back to defend ourselves, but it was futile. Our weapons had no effect. Our numbers dwindled, and now I'm wounded and unable to locate any more of my surviving companions. I don't know if anyone will find this message, but if you do, stay away. Please stay before it consumes you too. Ugh. Samaki has faced a great threat. One that overwhelmed them. We must learn from their experience and prepare ourselves accordingly. Their deaths won't be in vain. We shall uncover the truth and put an end to this terror. A barrier? Again? Another barrier. This mechanism used to unlock this could be around the area somewhere. Oh, come on. It better contain something good. Probably a key item, actually. Potion of Love. You found a journal entry. The energy beings are unlike anything I've ever seen. They shiver and pulsate with a pure energy, casting an ethereal glow around them. Their forms are amorphous, constantly shifting and swirling, as if they exist in a realm between matter and pure energy. 
Their powers are unimaginable. I witnessed them manipulate the very fabric of reality, bending space and time to their will. They can summon devastating energy blasts, pass through solid objects, and even control the minds of those unfortunate enough to cross their path. Like the lore of the unknown? We're no match for their overwhelming strength. Potion of Light. Another mechanism. You found a journal entry. You try everything to fight back against the beings. Their weapons are useless. They simply pass through their ethereal forms. Our strongest abilities barely scratch their surface, as if they are impervious to our every attack. They're like unstoppable forces of nature, and we are mere mortals in their presence. I can no longer be right to torment. Each encounter brings us closer to our doom. We're exhausted, both physically and mentally. I fear that our fate is sealed. If anyone finds this journal, heed my warning. Stay away from this cursed place. The energy beings are beyond comprehension, and their power is unmatched. But we beat the Lord of the Unknown. Are they the same type of person? But no, the Lord of the Unknown is vulnerable to all types of damage, but this one's not. Right, let's see here. Barrier removed. Okay. Ancient key. Okay. There's a door there. That must be what the ancient key is for. Even if the door looks high tech and not that ancient. Potion of love. There's some. All these good potions and they and the, these Somakians still got their asses beat. That is not a good sign, huh? Well, there's someone at the counter. Friend or foe? The Valeris Palace, huh? Who goes there? Who's there? We mean you no harm. We received a distress signal and came to investigate. Are you injured? Can we help you? Your group received a signal. I guess it's safe to assume you're the one who sent the distress signal. Are you a Somakian? Why are you able to s speak our language all of a sudden? Scanning. Analysis complete. You're not hostile entities. Assistance will be appreciated. I'm wounded, but my injuries are not fatal. The danger lies elsewhere. My team, we were ambushed by the Ether demons that infest this city. But if they're Ether, shouldn't they be weak to tech? They're unlike anything we've encountered before. Ether demons? Yes, they're immensely powerful and relentless. We've probably their Ether based attacks overwhelmed us. We're barely we escaping our lives. I fear they will continue to wreak havoc throughout the galaxy if left unchecked. We land on this planet because we detected a familiar anomaly here hoping to find answers. Dang it, we can't let them continue terrorizing this place. We're here to help. I'm Talon, one of the group leaders of the Somakian Liberation Group. Liberation? Your offer is generous, but I am depleted, unable to fight. However, I can guide you through this place and share what knowledge I possess about our adversaries. Together we may stand a chance against these creatures, but be warned, they are formidable opponents. We're not backing down, let's fight them now. Your determination is admirable. We shall proceed cautiously, for the Ether Demons lurk in every corner. I will share what information I have. Let's get going then. Indeed. Information? There's a chamber up ahead where the strongest Ether Demon lies. It could be a source. Once we get there, I'll tell you what I know about the knowledge I've gathered and hopefully defeating it. Very well then, Talon. Uh, is that the chamber? Is there a way to weaken it? Here we are, standing before the door to the chambers of the source of the Ether Demons Rising. It's immensely, it's, it's an immensely powerful being, far beyond what you can currently handle. So what's the plan, Talon? How do we take it down? We need to weaken the source first. It draws its power from three conduit master Ether Demons. By defeating these conduits, we can diminish its strength and level the playing field. So we have to beat three sub-bosses first. Hmm, sounds like a plan. So once we defeat these conduits, the Ether Demon will be weakened, meow. Precisely. Weakened but not defeated. It will still pose a significant challenge, but at least we will have a chance to find a fighting chance. I will come to you on this journey, although I won't be able to engage in combat due to my depleted state. With Talon's knowledge and our combined skills, we can overcome the, these challenges and confront the source Ether Demon. Very well, let's find those three master Ether Demons and stop them from laying their power to the source. Let's proceed. Life Kit. Life Kit again? Breaker Beta, okay. Found journal entry. Venusia192110. At 210. AXW. I, Brother Lucius, once served as the faithful Valerian priest, devoted to the worship of what we believe to be a divine energy matter. Our faith was unwavering, as we saw this ethereal presence as the embodiment of purity and enlightenment. We reveled in this radiant globe, asking its alleged benevolence. Little did we know that our trust was misplaced, and our perception of the energy matter was gravely distorted. Our beloved deity, as we had perceived it, was nothing more than a facade masking a far more sinister entity, an ether demon of immense power. Is that the true form of the Lord of Divinity? It started subtly, with lessons of darkness creeping into our minds. We dismissed them as mere doubts, refusing to question the divinity we had come to revere. But then, the possession began. The once peaceful inhabitants of Valerius became vessels for the malevolent influence of the Ether Demon, their souls tainted and twisted. Yeah, I really wonder, what, who the hell made the Lord of Divinity religion and why does it suck so bad? That's the demon. But we can continue further up?
Found a tree. Chaos ensues as the Ever Demons materialize throughout the sea. There are monstrous swarms wreaking havoc on their once serene home. They clawed and tore the fabric of resistance, fearing, feasting on the fear and despair that they soul within us. The very essence of Valerius was engulfed in an all-consuming darkness. As a survivor of the calamity that befalls, I write a journal entry as a warning to all who come across these words. The word is seductive allure of the divine, for I may conceal maleficence sense beyond imagination. Our permanent worship blinded us to the truth and we paid the price dearly. Ventral Entry Make this account serve as a reminder of the dangers that lie within the realms of faith and perception. Listen as a testament to the destructive power of false idols and the devastating consequences that follow. I pray that those who read this will heed the warning and steer clear of the allure of ether demons. May you find strength and knowledge and remain ever vigilant against the deceptions that hide in the shadows of divinity. Another switch flipped. Something opened. It must be the door with the demon in it. Breaker Alpha. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What do we have here? Little insects scurrying about, thinking they can challenge me. How amusing. Your reign ends here. We won't let you continue spreading this evil. Oh, how brave of you to stand against me one more time, Somakian, but you're sorely mistaken if you think you can defy my power. I'm Gifrax, the Ether Behemoth. I'm an unstoppable force. We faced formidable foes before. Your overconfidence shall be your downfall. How amusing. I admire your feel attempts of bravery, but let me make one thing clear. I'm a conduit, a vessel of untamed energy. Bow before me. This is not fair. Servant caller? Wait, did they just summon another dude? Oh no. They're, they can re-summon their minions. Speed. Man. Agile Fighter. Cancel stat enhancements. Hmm. He refused plus plus. Heroism. Charisma plus plus. Mo my agility! Fuck! Fuck my MP. I should have bought more potions of love. I may want to actually exit the city and buy stuff. Holy shit. Or just use E for Q plus plus. Thunder God Fury. Already shot. Hmm. Extractor beta.
One less dude. Oh, and you revived one dude. Okay. But at least they don't have any more reflection to worry about. That's the only bright side to all of this. Plasma Barrier. almost tempted to use this, but it seems like... I, I feel like I have to save it for the actual boss of the area. For gears. Hmm. The randomness is pretty bad. Holy shit. Termination. Charisma Plus. Damn. There, that keeps the minions under control. How amusing! No! Seriously? You're not weak to Efer. Is that I might be a little attempt? Oh come on. Still heal a ton, that is so bad. Why? That's so painful, man. Oh my goodness.
the resist tech now? Does that mean it was a physical type all along? Damn. I wonder if Mass Hysteria will work on any of you. Well, that'll at least keep the little dude busy, because I don't plan on attacking the, uh, uh, that minion. Hmm. Nebulous, please debuff. There. That should give us a little bit of an advantage. I don't think it has any weaknesses at all. You worthless creatures! The fact they can just cheat their turns forever, man. Cancel stat enhancements. Breaker beta, I need to farm more of. Oh my goodness. Okay, good. A waste of time bring back a weak minion. for Fuse Self. Untamed Offensive. Finally, we made progress, but man, that... I hope the next one is not as bad, but it probably will be. Level 98. Talents Augment. You fools, your defiance means nothing. The shadows will consume you one by one. Remember my words when you face the true source of the ether, if you live that long. Oh, Splendid, it looks like you dropped my augment. Please, hold Talon's augment for me. Whoever is wearing it will be able to call upon me to strike our foes with shock fury. With that, I can fight with you, but I'll be it not as much as I could do uh, could do to my injuries. Yippee, that sounds fun, meow. My aid may be limited, but I will fight with you nonetheless. Thank you, Talon, we'll be happy to accept your help. I I'll do my best. Does it actually increase stats, though? Oh, it actually does give plus one for each strength, so I can put on any strength type character. Yeah. Okay, this gives her a good AoE physical option that I could probably combine with, a t with things like Ether Fuse and Tech Fuse. Valerian robe? Wait, there's a freaking astral 
orb here. What the hell? I'm just gonna call it. I'm just. Yeah, I don't think there's any more I can get here. I'll save my separate slot just in case, but. Man. It's really hard to tell what I'm supposed to find in here. Life kit. Gal Galaxy waffles. Break curb beta. And one switch this time. Okay. Okay, now we can challenge the next boss. That one did not take. Co uh, that one did not require as many switches, but I'm sure it's going to be a tough one nonetheless. So you finally found your way to me, pitiful creatures. Prepare yourselves for the hunt of a lifetime. We have come to put an end to your malevolent schemes. You surely believe you can challenge me again, Somakian? I'm Virak, the facing hunter, a predator beyond your comprehension. You won't intimidate us. Your defense is pitiful. I relish the opportunity to crush your people's resistance. Prepare to be eradicated. Oh, you have the same fucking gimmick. Of course you do. This is not fair at all. I'm already extremely depressed. At least they don't have reflection. That means I can do something about these spirit type enemies. Somehow. Seriously. Agile Fighter. I do not like this at all. I don't even think I hit anyone important. Damn. Yeah, these- this is not very well des- these boss fights are getting more and more luck-based. I honestly do not see how I'm supposed to win. Fiery Heart. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this is getting extremely unfair. See if Refractor works. Mass Hysteria, please! I need to buy time. Things are just really, really messed up right now.
I can at least take out the robot. Oh my goodness. They're reflected, so I can't even cast certain buffs on them. bullets. Damn, I have to use another refractor. I can't get rid of these guys quickly enough. Nice dodge. Oh. Use on self. Thunder God Fury. Point attempt. Oh, nuts! At least I didn't recast their healing buffs. Finally, an allies downed. Infusion. I'm gonna use Jade. I need you slowed down so I have time for myself. Inspire. And Wisdom. Small wisdom to save on MP. There. I've got... Gotta use infusion again. With your speed down, you are a lot more vulnerable.
the only way to really check all my buffs at once, isn't it? I don't think he has any weaknesses. Damn. Mass Hysteria. Yeah, that's the only way I can really deal with his BS. By using my own stupid BS. Haha. -ha. Resist regular physicals, huh? So that means you are a t I should have used tech infusion. Fusion Plus, please do not resist. You'll pay. Uh-oh. Well, two people are dying. Whoa, actually someone survived. But man, that guy has uh, this stupid freaking... Uh, at least he slowed down, but still, this is not favorable. Okay, got him this time. Ugh. Even at the level cap, we are not strong enough to deal with most of these guys, are we? Talon's Greaves? Redemption, such a need of notion. You know nothing of the ether that imbibes me, but perhaps there is a sliver of hope in your pursuit. It is too late for me, but others may still find their way fr back from the ethereal abyss. Oh, it's Molly. It looks like he dropped my greaves. Please, hold Talon's greaves for me. Whoever is running there will be able to call upon me to disintegrate an enemy of Technoblaster. Is this speed type? Yeah. Alright, since bosses seem to be vulnerable to confusion, I've come up with a new plan to deal with them. It's cheap, but they, they started it with all their cheap bullshit. All their... Instant, uh, all their uh, uh, turn cheating skills and their MP draining and all that. Yeah, they started this war, not me. Was I supposed to fight this guy first? There's no switch or anything guarding it. Valerian armor. You're the last one. Oh, so you come to challenge me. How amusing. Prepare yourself to your ultimate demise. We'll put an end to your destructive rampage. Yo, Pidera opposed me against Somaki, and such an insignificant being thinking they can defy the power of bioorganic evolution. You cannot comprehend the true potential that lies within me. We fight to spread innocent lives you've endangered. Innocence, righteousness, such brutal concepts. Life is merely a tool for evolution, to be molded and controlled. I am Sonora, prepare for annihilation, for I am the pinnacle of bioorganic perfection. Oh no, she must be a machine type. And she's got every single buff in existence. Fuck. Well, that's why I came prepared. Break her... Alpha. Agile Fighter. Now, let's see. Extractor Beta. I hope that was a good idea. They're all- I should just stick to physical attacks, huh? Cool. Cool. 
charisma. But that robot is going to be an issue. Yikes. Healing and defense, but... It's still manageable. I can do this somehow. Preservation. Let's hope the robots don't kill me too hard. Mute! Oh, that is horrible. Good thing that some of my people are already immune, but still. Wisdom. I need to somehow brute force my way through all this. Shockwave Plus. I hope this works. It might not because she's a robot. But if this works, that would... It's, it'll probably get patched out. It worked! Yes! That gives me such an advantage. That gives me a huge advantage. A supreme advantage. Veronica can't do much because of her lack of tech skills, huh? Maybe if the next one has an int type item, I could give it to Veronica instead. Anyways, I need to give uh, Nano Repair to Chad. Call Talon. It's instant, huh? Interesting. Show me what you got, Talon. Do you have a death wish? Oh no, my buffs! She still did, even while confused, huh? Cancel positive states? Untamed offensive, get rid of the rest, please. Shade to slow you down. Give me more turns. I hope my- if I can just spam confusion on the boss. I think that will allow me to at least, uh, to pretty much, essentially stun lock her. Yes. Cancel that stat enhancement. I don't want you having any advantages. Hmm. I want to take to your stats down a bit. I'll have to remember to reconfuse her right before her turn comes up. Hmm. Let's see. Plasma barrier in case she does some weird shit with her uh, uh, with her turn cheating abilities. Charisma plus plus. No need to cast any fuses because I know you're a machine type. Not bad. Buffing self. There goes all of my buffs. Okay. Before you can do any kind of healing whatsoever. Let's see. Breaker Beta. I need to buy more of these. There. So much easier when I can just confuse Locker, huh? Yes. Yes. No, I can't leave Worms to defeat me. Oh, not again. Extreme 
Extractor Beta. Zephyr Heart. Yes, I figured out the cheese strategy to win this. Talon's Crest. How could this be? Impossible! My bioorganic essence cannot be extinguished. I'm guessing the next boss will have no weaknesses at all. Oh, splendid. It looks like she dropped my crest. Please, hold Talon's Crest for me. Whoever's wearing this will be able to call upon me to heal and protect your party using Quantum Barrier. We have successfully defeated all three of the conduits. It's time for us to face the Source Ether Demon. And I'm going to cheese them as usual. And let's go pay Mr. Source a visit. Yes, use the cheese strats, even though it will probably be patched out by the time you are watching this video. <laughs> yeah, so... Let's stay alert. Wait, what? Potion of Peace? Gallery Picture, Talon's Lament. Okay, that's one switch. Ether cube. Another switch. Okay, another switch. Break her beta. They know we are, we're using these on the boss, huh? They know it's gonna be impossible to beat the boss otherwise. Since Sola won't always have her turn up. Life kit. Something opened. Yeah, the boss. We can finally visit you. It is I, Malgorf the Ephemeral Lord, who dares interfere with my etheric conduits. You may be powerful, but we stand united. We won't let you harm any more innocent lives. So you've come, foolish mortal, seeking to challenge the might of an ether demon. How amusing. Prepare a witness to true despair. We face your minions to defeat your conduits. It's your turn. Malgorf, your time is up. You will pay for taking the lives of my comrades. Prepare to face the consequences. Haha, <laughs> by all means, try. Oh, look, of course you have every ally possible. Oh, of course. Oh, nuts. Why? This seems impossible. I already do not like the situation. Even if I used... Uh, mass confusion, it's gonna be hard to get through all this. They all have different... Uh, the fact that everyone has different damage types that they're weak to makes it really bad. I think physical first is good because I can take out the minions, but still... Man... Uh... Emergency kit... I don't know how I'm supposed to win this. I need to... Damn, I can't do it because it'll just get reflected, huh? Confusion. Oh my goodness, this is terrible. If I can keep the boss confused, that would be great.
One down. That's just the drones. Ugh. Potion of Light. Termination. Prisma Plus. Yeah, getting through this is going to be impossible, isn't it? I can't keep this up forever. I'm just getting some kind of momentum, I might have a chance. I need to use this to get rid of some of the dudes. Yes, okay, but I need to reconfuse him later. So this is not cool. Where is my black hog glass? As long as I can keep you confused, I have a little bit of briefing room, but it's not by much. Heroism. Okay, let's see, there's two mage types left. That's not good. Quantum Barrier. Yeah, that's an instant move too. Leave you. He's still confused. Good. I don't know how much longer I can hold out, though. Not confused anymore, not good. When they're God Fury. Oh, now there is only these two. I have the advantage now. I'll win with my cheap tactics against your cheap tactics. There's no way I could win without using the Black Hole Glass strategy. That's for sure. Absolutely no freaking way.
Thirty shot. Hmm. Use the seal. I'm gonna nuke. I think the reflection wore off. We're gonna eliminate the corpses, and that leaves the boss in the, their confused state. Yes, punch yourself for zero damage for some reason. Does the boss even have weaknesses? I don't think it does. Should I just use a physical attack? Hmm. Accuracy. Let's try Rapid Barrage. Tech is neutral, so that means you're nothing. You have no, uh, you have no attributes. How delightful! Not cool. Fusion Plus. Your brain. I will remove your brain for you. EP to all allies. Hmm. Zephyr Heart. Despicable Maggots. Oh, he's buffing a gun. Remove your regen. Hmm. No, Ambrosia is overkill when we have too much of an advantage anyways. I'm just gonna go with Nano Repair to be economical. Hmm. Aura. Quantum Barrier. Hmm. Arcane Finale. Didn't do much. Charisma. I'm gonna restart, recast some buffs. Inspire. Wisdom. And Sola will use a Black Hall Glass. Hold on, I need to check my buffs. I need to recast some buffs first. 
Speed. Strength. And now Infusion Plus. You, you! Oh no, he's gonna do it again. Okay, so it looks like uh, when he did that, it, it also delayed his turn a bit. Okay. You're the only one under mind control. Hmm. E for Q plus plus on you. Oh crap, I have to use that. Forgot about his breakers. Call Talon. Shock Fury. Nurse Shock Fury. Hmm. I don't know if it was worth using. Oh well. Armor breaking. Infusion. Wonder God Fury. Still alive? Seriously? Well, not for long. Crest of Malgorf. No, this cannot be. I am eternal, chaos unbound. Now we'll be defeated the source. This place will be safe, correct? Very much so. It appears that the rescue team has arrived from my aid. My friends, words cannot express my gratitude for your bravery and unwavering determination. Together we have vanquished the darkness that plagued the sea. You have proven yourselves to be true allies. I must now bid you farewell, but before I go, I would be honored to have you keep my items, infused with a fraction of my essence. They will serve as a beacon, allowing you to summon my aid wherever you whenever you face dire challenges. May they guide you on your future journeys. Do you mean to say we can call upon you remotely? Anytime? Meow. Yes, my friend, I am connected with those items. Oh, hot stuff. Remember, the camaraderie we have forged here will endure across time and space. Thank you, Talon. We are happy to have crossed paths with you. Yes, your guidance helped us a ton. I am glad. Now go forth and continue your noble quest. The galaxy awaits brave warriors like you. May the stars guide your path and may our paths cross again in the future. Are they time travelers or something? What the heck was that dialogue? Huh. Dang, that was quite a journey. I'm glad we were victorious. But we want more. I think we've had enough. We've literally fought level cap stuff. Optional quest echoes the unknown a diplomatic encounter has been completed. Yikes. That was way too difficult. Wait, I don't think we can go back there, huh? So if there's anything waiting for us back there, we won't be able to get it now. Yeah, it's the plant is no longer listed, is it? A shame, but oh well. I don't feel like going back there anyways. At this point, I'm at the level cap and I just all I have to do now is beat Verakia once and for all. Thanks for tuning in to this Let's Play of Raveheart. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe, and or hit the bell icon.